Hello everyone, this is Armando from the Vault. That is my channel sticker, so if you want to do a sticker trade, uh, please contact me. My email address and address will be in the description block. I have a mail call today. Today from Mia's Coins. We did a sticker trade, and here you go, there's Mia's sticker. I bet if you contact her, uh, she could probably work out a sticker trade. Also, did I did a uh, trade with War Nickel Revolution. I needed some Canadian pennies. Uh, this is I'm going to show you one of them here because it is is the earliest year, 1920. Let me see. Here. You can see that 1920. There you go. He also sent me a 1941, a 1942, 1944, 1969, 2003, 2004, 2008, and 2011. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing here with my Canadian cents. What I'm doing is I'm putting them in those sleeves here. And if you can see from this page here, I am missing most of the earlier years of the Canadian cents. But I think if I just keep at it here, I will get them completed. And I think it's like 2012 that the last year of the Canadian cents. If you see here, I'm pretty well have these uh, middle years pretty well completed. I think these last two pages except for just a couple of them. If you see, I do have a few BU ones there, 1966, uh, I think it is. Oh, that's 1985. Yeah, I do have a few BU Canadian cents. Here's some, and also this is the last page. So, I should be able to complete that real soon. Also, I have a 1958 Uno Peso that I got from Big T Coins at well, one of his auctions. Also, just received this in the mail today. And I got two of them here. It's me, my, uh, 2019 Silver Proof Set. And like I said, I got two of them just to make sure I got two of the pennies. Here's a nice shot of those. That's a nice set. And from my understanding, I haven't looked at them that close right now, but instead of 90% silver on the uh, half and the dime, they're supposed to be 999.9999 silver. Also, the quarters should be that and like I said I'll check in a little bit see if they're marked and they should be there's the National Park quarters the five National Park quarters and what they do is they send you also the uh, should be a uh, envelope in there oh I didn't get the little envelope huh thought they were supposed to come in there as a free That's a third certifi certification authenticity. And those are the reverse proof pennies. 2019. I got two of them. I'll be putting them back in there. A couple other things I wanted to show you here. As far as my currency. And this wasn't a mail call. I, I purchased these from my local coin shop. Uh, Bella Vista Coins. And that's a Hawaii note. If you notice right here, there's a Hawaii written on it. Or actually, it's stamped on there. And uh, they made the Hawaii note uh, back during Pearl Harbor uh, uh, to make sure the Japanese wouldn't over uh, take the American's currency so they, to, to be able to tell the currency, I believe they uh, had Hawaii stamped on it. Then also on my purchase that I was showing you the 
the $50 and $20 bill. I got these uh, $10 silver certificates also. And like I said, they're not in the best of shape. But for $10 purchase, and two of them just, uh, they're 1934. These are just a uh, regular series. And these are 1934. And these are the C, C series. Those two right there. But like I said, I would say they're in, in uh, for being 1934, which is a special year for me because that's the year my mother was born. I would say they're, like I said, they're keepers for me. So I hope everyone enjoyed the mail call. If you would please like, comment, good or bad, doesn't matter. If you can give me any suggestions on uh, what you'd like to look at or how I can better my channel, don't hesitate to comment in the comment block. Uh, share this if you'd like to share it with your friends. And also he'll hit that little bell button over there. This way you'll be not notified of my new uh, videos I make. Thank you very much and I hope everyone have a blessed day.